Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an E to teleport just like this inside of Roblox here. So let's get started. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is first make our portal. This can be some, something simple. I'm just going to quickly just make a little part. Make sure it's anchored. And then, uh, yeah. Alright, so what you guys want to do now is rename this part to teleport. Or you can just name it portal actually. It could be anything you want to call it. Uh, so that doesn't matter but yeah just rename it to that next what you guys want to do is make um a proximity so inside this portal add a proximity prompt and right here you can change all of these settings you can call it instead of interact you can type in a teleport and then uh, you can make it for how long you want to hold it for you can just one second i guess um and yeah that's basically you know, that's all i'm gonna do um yeah what you guys are gonna do now is we're gonna create a part another part and this is gonna be the teleport part this is where the um the player would teleport so I'll just quickly make this into a little square it doesn't have to be anything big or it doesn't have to be color doesn't matter either it's gonna be transparent anyways but yeah first off anchor this and uh, we're gonna move this all the way here so we can tell if we teleport it or not name this to um teleport part just like that whatever you name this keep that in mind because we're gonna need this in the script later all right guys so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh add a script inside of the portal so not the teleport you're gonna open up the proximity prompt and add any script and this script is very very short All right, so that is the script done. So just two things. This is where you can uh, edit the how the time. So how long after the proximity is triggered, how long it will take to teleport. So people, I'm gonna usually keep this to like the very low, so like one second something or 0.5. I'm just gonna keep it 0.5 because I think 0.1 is a bit too fast. And then um the second part is right here. So uh, whatever you named your teleport part, so this part right here. I need to teleport part you're gonna paste it right here and so that is it now one last step is we're gonna move this part also yeah we're gonna make make sure this is can collide off on here so there doesn't like collide with it but we're gonna move this part just about mm, like five studs up so one two three four five right there that's a good height i'm gonna explain to you why we're gonna do that i'm gonna explain to you why we're gonna do that just as we uh, test the game all right, so um, really quick, I'm gonna explain why we uh, raise this part a bit. So in the script, it says the humanoid root part is gonna teleport to this position. Now the humanoid root, or the, the humanoid root part is right over here by the stomach near the waist of the character. And so that means when you teleport, your waist is gonna be here, not your feet. Meaning, if this was on the base plate. On top of the base plate most likely the player would glitch into the base plate and fall out of the map and then yeah so just to avoid that we move it just up there and it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be transparent anyways you can just change the transparency anyways what we're gonna do now test it real quick so we're going to teleport and then as you can see i teleported without glitching into the map because the part is up here and yeah that's basically it so hopefully you guys did enjoy it's very very simple hopefully it's helped out too uh, be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye